Critical to the application of the goods and services tax, GST, or the harmonized sales tax, otherwise known as the HST, is the classification of the specific supplies to ascertain whether those supplies are classified as taxable or zero rated supplies or exempt supplies. And based on that, one proceeds with the application of the GST and or HST. So the concept of supply is essential to understanding and applying GST and HST. While in many cases the term will be synonymous with sale, it has a much broader scope for GST and HST purposes. The provision of supply includes, among other things, sales or rentals of goods, rendering of services, leases, sales, or other transfers of real property, licensing of copyrights or patents, and barter and exchange transactions and gifts. Once it is determined that there is a supply, a further determination must be made as to the type of supply. Once again, there are three types of supplies for purposes of GST and HST, taxable, zero rated, and exempt. A taxable supply is defined as a supply made in the course of commercial activity, but does not include an exempt supply. Taxable supplies are subject to tax each time they are sold, with no exceptions. Most goods and services are taxable. However, zero rated and exempt status is extended to a short list of goods and services for which the government has determined that GST or HST should not apply. Only limited relief from the tax is provided in the case of exempt supplies. Goods and services which are zero rated are completely free of tax. So what then is a zero rated supply? There is a short list of goods and services that are subject to tax at the rate of 0%. These zero-rated supplies are still considered to be taxable supplies, although there appears paradoxical the distinction between taxable and exempt supplies is important. On taxable supplies, including zero-rated ones, the supplier is entitled to recoup the GST or HST paid on the inputs in the form of input tax credits, since input tax credits may be claimed on inputs used in commercial activities. Thus, even though GST or HST is not charged on supply of zero rated goods and services, the entitlement to input tax credits ensures that these supplies are effectively tax free. The following are some examples of goods and services that are zero rated. Prescription drugs, medical devices, basic groceries, and exported goods and services. Now onto our final classification of supplies, exempt supplies. Like suppliers of zero rated supplies, suppliers of exempt goods and services are not required to collect GST or HST on the supplies. However, unlike zero rated supplies, relief from GST or HST is not available on inputs used in supply of exempt goods and services. The GST and HST paid by the supplier on purchases attributable to these exempt supplies is buried in the cost of the goods or services. For income tax purposes, however, the GST or HST paid on such inputs represents part of the cost of the inputs and hence is deductible. For example, when a bank purchases inputs to be used in supply of financial services, which are exempt supplies, the bank is not entitled to recover the GST or HST incurred in respect of those inputs. Consequently, even though the bank does not charge GST or HST in the supply of those exempt financial services, the GST and HST incurred on the bank's purchases is buried in the cost of those financial services. 
the bank will be able to deduct the GST and HST paid on these purchases for income tax purposes as part of the cost of the purchases. The following are some other examples of exempt goods and services. Health care and child care services, educational services, most financial services, and the sales of used residential housing and rentals of residential premises. Thank you.